Okay, so this one I'm going to call cutting, connecting and swift loops. Uh, this is once again something that I use a lot, but it's also very basic. Uh, basically, you have multiple ways to add edges inside of um, 3ds Max. Sorry, I don't know why it took me that long to remember. So, first of all, if you create a primitive model, you can go down here and you can add edges simply by select selecting your settings, for example. But we don't always have that option. So, let's say that you have a edit poly over here, an editable poly. Now, there's a few ways that you can add connections. The first way that I often use is the swift loop. So the swift loop is literally, here you can see, you can simply just select and just click and you can add your edges wherever you want. That's what the swift loop does. Now next to this, if we go ahead and go, um, you can press the cut tool, but I tend to go to vertex mode before doing that. We have our cut tool. Our cut tool allows us to simply select edge like this, but we can also just place edges in between, or if there's empty space, the cut tool will do its best to place the vertices in empty space and connect them together. So it's very basic. It's cut, uh, blender and Maya is knife. It's called knife. So there's multiple ways to do this. So swift loop and we have done cut. Another one that uh, we have, it is called our connect tool. Our connect tool is very powerful. Let's say we have all of these segments. We can go in here to connect. If you press connect once, it will place a single loop. But if you go down here and go to connect settings, you can actually choose how many connections you want. You can set, you can move the connections apart, as you can see, like this. And um, you can also shift them around. So this is very powerful. Also, the cool thing about this, this is a very simple shape, but in difficult shapes, the connect tool will abide to these movements and keep the shape intact. While if I would, for example, like here I can do this. But uh, imagine that this shape is round, um, it would just go straight through if I try to move it properly. So that's why the connect tool is very cool. You have a distance connect, which doesn't always work. It basically, if you have two settings, you can press distance connect. And it will try and uh, connect these two settings together. But as you can see, it's not the best tool. Uh, flow connect. Flow connect, I believe. Uh, what was it? If I select like around... A certain area like this press flow connect um, it will basically it will try to give your connection like a little uh, softness I believe Actually, let me, yeah I should have just done it like this I want to show you something fancy but basically it will just give you a little bit of thickness like that so that's flow connect now also a very cool thing uh, swift loop has a function that is sort of like the flow connect if you press the, shift loop, the swift loop and hold shift, what it will do is it will move it in the center and it will try and also do a flow connect to that. That's what shift is for. What you can also do is you can also have your swift loop, hold shift, and then just click once and then it will just place it in the center. So um, if you click, hold shift, so basically you hold shift and then you release shift and don't move your mouse and then just click once, it will place it exactly in the center like this. So that's another handy tool for like your swift loop. Lastly, I want to go over your slices. So your slices, basically, if you go up here, you have slice. The cool thing about slice is that it will basically, it will cut through anything. Uh, it's like a magical knife. You basically just click. And when you click, you can rotate and it will simply literally here. It will literally cut through everything. And like this, you can do your slice. Uh, your slice, if we go to our side view, responds to snapping, I believe. Um, oh, it should be. Control. No. I thought I thought it responds to snapping, but uh, I will show I will show you then a different technique on how to make that work. So um, if you need to have your slice very precise, what you can do a trick is that if you just click and don't move your mouse, it will often figure out your rotation. It will basically set it exactly straight. If I go here. Here, see, it will uh, figure out your rotation and just give you like uh, snapping like this. However, let's say, okay, now, but I need to be super, super precise about something. What you can do is you have over here in your modifier list, you literally have a slice modifier. And the cool thing about this one is that this slice modifier, um, if I go ahead and click on it, so you click once to go into the plane, 
you can freely move this around and you can this time you can use snapping and rotations and um, rotation snapping and everything now you can slice based upon multiple angles with this tool so this tool is a little bit more powerful because you can slice um, at the same time different angles just by selecting these and um, slice type split mesh split mesh i believe is that it splits the mesh in two if i do something like that but uh, i'm not 100 percent sure uh, remove positive oh yeah here it's almost like a boolean also remove positive remove negative it will basically just like remove your slicing and then you can also cap it uh, like this so it will so it will basically it's almost like a boolean you would say it's like a real-time boolean in a way it's just a straight boolean so i can literally cut and slice and i actually forgot that i can cap it that's amazing even i am learning from this tutorial so um basically you can just slice and you can basically very easily cap it like this and you can just do whatever you want with it so this is very handy um to do this you can align to a face and then what you can do is you can just grab like a face and i broke my mesh i believe uh probably because i did the remove negative but yeah here basically there's so, there's so many things i would play around with it um with these tools i most of the time just use like my manual tools like this but that's basically what did i call it cutting connecting and slicing so um yeah that's it let's continue to the next one